Hey everyone, it's Jana from Ballerinas by Night. Today I'm here to talk about taking photos and videos of yourself dancing. Now I feel like in general we've all gotten better about documenting our dancing because of social media and iPhones and just accessibility to pictures. It's just, it's just much easier than it used to be. So I think we're like we're all generally pretty good at you know documenting our dancing after class or whatever it is. But I think in general there's still it's still kind of hard to want to take photos and videos of ourselves dancing um, because we always want to wait. We want to wait for like our feet to look better, our legs to be higher. So like I don't know. There's a million different reasons why we put off taking photos of ourselves dancing. And I totally get it. I used to be that way. I of course when I, I grew up dancing have very few photos of that. But that was also like in the 90s, early 2000s, and we just didn't take as many pictures. But when I came back to, an, to ballet as an adult in 2005, I was 21 years old. I did not take a photo of myself dancing until 2013, I don't think. So eight years, just like completely undocumented of my dancing. And I really wish that I had photos because I would love to be able to see my progress now. So this brings me to my first point of why you shouldn't wait to take photos of yourself dancing is so that you can track your progress. It can be really hard to see how much we're progressing over time because it's just such a gradual thing. It's nice to be able to go back and look at a photo from two years ago, a year ago, six months ago, and be able to actually see the difference in what you've been working on. It makes you feel really proud and it makes you want to work harder and it makes you want to keep going to keep learning and getting better so it's a really great tool to kind of check in and see what's happening with the things that are working and not working it can be hard to do this um, at first if you're not used to taking photos and videos of yourself it tends to be kind of a process and a self-acceptance and if you have any like body issues it can be a big thing so that also is like my second point as to why I think you should document your dancing now don't wait um, is because I think it can really help with body image issues, self-acceptance. This has been huge for me. So when we first started doing YouTube in, well, maybe it was 2013. Crazy, it was the same year that I took photos. So yeah, that was the same year I started taking videos of myself dancing. And I remember I just picked apart everything I hated. I was like, oh my gosh, like my feet look terrible there, or I have no turnout here, or like, gosh, I wish I looked skinnier. Like all of that just stuff, you know what I mean? Like we just start picking out the things that we don't like. But then we kept making more videos, week after week, month after month, and I just kept seeing it and seeing it and seeing it, you know? And I had this like image in my head initially of what I thought I looked like when I was dancing. And then when I saw on the video that it was not what I had pictured in my head, it was like a process of like reshaping what that looks like. Eventually what happened was like my image of what I thought I looked like went away and I kind of knew what I was going to expect to see when I watched the video back of myself dancing. And now I see videos of myself and granted there are a million things that I always want to fix but you know what I see first are the things that I'm proud of. That's a huge accomplishment to be able to do that and I think it's because I just consistently got back in front of the camera and so I think that is maybe a key to working past it is just keep doing it. I think the more you can see what you look like to other people, the more we can be aware of that and accept that. And now I'm in a place where I'm just like, this is me and that's totally okay. But it was a process. So like, it's not gonna happen overnight, most likely. I pick out the things first that I'm like, wow, like that went, that went really well. Um, and then, but I will notice the things that I'm like, oh, that wasn't so good. I could have done that better. And I'll pick those things out, but I don't, I don't like attack myself about it. I don't take it super personally. I just take it as like information to help me get better at those things. So for example, <laughs> recently I had Kristen come help me film a video about how to take a good arabesque photo. And we went outside and like filmed ourselves doing arabesques to take photos of them. And it was amazing how much I learned. Like I never take arabesque, like a standard classical ballet pose kind of photo, I never do those because I don't find that it's the most flattering on me. But my gosh, did I learn how to fix my arabesque from seeing those photos. I had no idea. I was like not straightening my working leg knee at all. It was just not straight. Um, I was not far enough over my supporting leg. I had like you know, all these things that I was like, oh my God, I had no idea this was going on. 
and you kind of can't really know because when you're in class like I'm sure you're in front of a mirror the whole time but you're not actually seeing how you're dancing so having the photo or having the video really shows you what it's looking like in real time so yeah I found it to be super helpful and now in class I'm going in working on my arabesque balances and I'm like oh I know all these things that I want to fix now and I, it's so good to be able to feel it you know what I mean and like oh I know my back leg is not straight so I'm gonna straighten it now and I'm gonna do the rotation from the hip and I don't know it's been really exciting ever since to work on that so don't know if you guys are gonna see that video because it was kind of a mess it was very hard to film so <laughs> I might try to do something I, don't know, I might try to do something with the edit I don't know it was difficult it was difficult to film and it's difficult to do so so another good reason you shouldn't wait to take photos so the photos are for you first of all but also like I bet that your friends and family would love to see you dancing I bet they would love that <laughs> and you know most of our friends and family aren't dancers or just you know like they don't get it you know so to them it's like they're not picking apart your technique they just want to see you dancing they want to see you expressing yourself they want to see what you can do physically like they're just going to be proud of you so it's great to have something that you can share with them and they can be proud i know every time i dance and i send my mom something she's just like oh she loves it so much you know she's just really really proud um and it's good to get that feedback you know what i mean it kind of puts it in perspective of like sure we want things to look perfect but um they're not going to and really it's about enjoying ourselves and having a good time and then lastly if that's not enough for you to want to get your camera out right now <laughs> think about the long-term game here say you're in your 20s your 30s your 40s and you're dancing when you're like 80 or 90 and maybe you're still dancing then that would be amazing but do you think you're gonna care that your technique may have not been perfect whenever you had those photos I don't think you're gonna care I think you're just gonna be really proud that you danced and that you have something tangible to show from it so just like take a deep breath let the stress out and think about your older self and what he or she is gonna think when they look back at these photos of you don't wait till you're perfect because a there is no perfect <laughs> and b as soon as you maybe achieve the close to perfection that you want you're, you've just moved on to the next level which is one of the great things about ballet is that there is like an endless amount of stuff you can work on um, but that also means you're probably never going to achieve it even the people that are principal dancers at the major companies across the world they're still working on things that they want to improve so like it's never the process is never going to end and that's part of the journey and part of the fun so that's why i think you shouldn't wait to take photos of yourself do it now um get your friends to take pictures of each other hire a photographer take videos of yourself when you can you know if you're allowed to during class or take some clips after class or just you know soak it up and enjoy it embrace things that you're proud of and be happy with your dancing and want to document it in a way that provides you memories and happiness and proof that you did it that you danced that you got your leg up that you stood on point <laughs> all of the things embrace those accomplishments and learn from your weaker areas and just have a good time so that's my take on it let me know what you guys think in the comments below as a photographer a dance photographer specifically I guess I'm a little bit biased about this but also being a dancer and being a photographer I've seen it from from both angles and like most of the time that I'm working with dancers they're good about you know picking what they're proud of fixing what they aren't liking but not like beating themselves up about it so I feel, I feel very good about the state of most dancers at least the ones that I've worked with but I know that it's like a mental struggle so I just wanted to put this out here and let you know that you're not alone if you feel that way and hopefully provide some insight as to how to like move beyond that and get to a different um a happier healthier mindset about taking photos and videos of yourself dancing so that's all for me today thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed here um if you haven't already click the bell for notifications and follow us on instagram and facebook at ballerines by night i have everything linked in the description box below see you guys soon bye mm -hmm.